Welcome to this new how-to. In this how-to, we're going to configure our flight plan manually in the Cessna 208 Grand Caravan. Currently, we are located at Liverpool Airport, and the plan is to fly to Prestwick Airport, which is an airport close to Glasgow. So, the aircraft is currently located on, on one of the parking spots of Liverpool Airport. Um, as mentioned, we're going to manually configure the flight plan. Before doing that, we need to start the engines because as you can see, uh, the rotor is not uh, running. So we're going to follow the checklist, which is part of flight simulator. So we're going to make sure that the fuel tanks are open. Make sure that the ignition is set to a normal. Power leveler is set to idle and the max RPM is set or the prop RPM level is set to max, which is the case. Um, now we can continue with the next page, which means that we can switch on the battery. We're gonna uh, switch on the beacon and we're gonna switch on AVNX1. And as soon as we switch on AVNX1, you will see that the engines are, uh, or the monitors are starting to, uh, let's say to be active. Uh, so that's only applicable to the uh, left one and the center one. The right one will only be switched on if you uh, enable avionics uh, number two. But that's uh, not what the checklist says we need to do. So we're going to set the fuel booster to on. And then the next thing is we need to set the starter to on. And as soon as we do that, and that's probably hard to see but here you can see it the rotor starts running which is good so we go back to here we set it to a uh, low idle the fuel condition leveler we can switch off the starter and set the fuel boost to normal and as last step we can switch on avionics number one or three number two as soon as you did that, you can see that the right screen also uh, switches on. So planning a flight can be done or can be done via multiple ways, right? You can do it either by uh, using the inbuilt flight planner for Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020, or you can use a website such as uh, onlineflightplanner.org, which allows you to schedule your flight from one air airport to the other one. So. What onlineflightplanner.org allows you to do is to create a PLM file which would allow you to let's say, automatically load the flight plan into the aircraft. But I'm going to do it a little bit different because I want to configure the flight manually. And to do that, we can use either the left screen and use the FPL option, which stands for flight plan, or we can use the right screen, which also has the FPL button. Uh, but it's a little bit bigger, so I always prefer to do it on the uh, on the center screen of this aircraft. As you can see, the flight plan is currently empty. So what we're going to do is we're going to add the flight plan, and to do that, we need to use the FMS button, which is here. And the FMS button has three parts, right? It has the front part, which is uh, the push button, then it has a turning piece, which is the small part, and then a bigger piece, which also allow is can be used to turn left or right. So what you need to do is you need to press the button and then you can start turning the front piece, which will bring up a new window. And then we're gonna punch in Echo Golf, Golf Papa. So as you can see, we now added the first uh, character and to move to the second position, we need to use the uh, large one here which will move the cursor to the next position. And then we can again use the uh, smaller piece. And then we need to use the larger piece again. And then again. And as you can see, there are multiple airport names, uh, let's say, passing by. So now we added the correct code 
uh, a cow coat as they also call it we see it's liverpool so we can press enter and we can see a few things we can see uh, the direction distance and the altitude and the cursor starts blinking on the next row so once on the next row you can specify the uh, waypoint uh, which we're going to visit and in this case that's uh, Paul Hill and that's uh, Papa uh, Oscar Lima and you see that here's a small icon right so let me zoom in a bit and based on this icon you can find out which kind of waypoint it is so this is a VOR channel uh, but as you can see on the map there are also some other things like MA27 etc so these points are part of the uh, star route right so the the star route is the uh, uh, I would say is the, is the ability to use a route which is predefined to for departures and approaches so be aware of that that's th that those can also be configured i will share it in a few minutes so once we're happy with this we press the enter key and you can see that now the first lag has been configured so from uh, liverpool to uh, the next waypoint which is paul hill we will fly straight out but that's not always what you want, so keep that in mind that you might want to change that piece. So the next waypoint is um, Nelsa. So we're gonna use the uh, button here again to uh, move, move the uh, letters again. Nelsa. see it's already there and here you can see this for example a different icon right so we simply add Nelsa that's fine and based on that you can also see that it provides some different information right so on the DTK the direction the distance and the altitude so for the VOR channel it shows an altitude and for most airports it also shows the data however for those uh, I would say special icons it does not show the data so be aware of that so the next one is a uh, ribble which is also the last waypoint uh, before we uh, say specify the airport uh, India enter again and the last one is uh, Prestrick Airport which is uh, Echo Golf but Echo Golf Kilo press trick, as you can see. So now we're happy, and we can punch a button again, and it will stop blinking. If you want to change something, you can still do that. You press the button again, and then you can use the uh, large knob to move either 
earlier in the wait plan or when you go downstairs you can also do that and for example you can change the uh, uh, flight level by using the small knob on the front but as we're happy we will uh, leave it as is so what are the other options then well there's always the option to set a direct course and the direct course can be used to uh, set the flight directly to a specific waypoint or airport uh, so that's mostly used if you're flying and then you want to uh, say configure a direct flight to an airport because you need to say change your direction or you change your mind and you want to change the flight plan then you can use the uh, direct option we're not going to do that uh, then we've got the procedures button and here's where the piece comes in where it allows you to add the terminal routes uh, and the departure routes so you can see that there's the uh, approach arrival and departure so we're now going to select uh, departure and that's being done again by using the big knob and then we're going to press enter and here you will see it automatically selects the departing airport and then it will show the departure and the departure uh, it well if we for example would load this one it will fly a certain direction it will fly certain waypoints first and then we'll continue with the initial or with the next waypoint which you configured in a flight plan um, you can use for example sky vector to figure out which uh, departure route is the most suitable so in this case we're gonna say okay hey we're happy with it for example uh, we can select the part uh, 1t but if you want to change it you can do that by uh, pressing the enter key and you see a lot of different uh, waypoints here uh, in most cases uh, the the uh, for example here star uh, it says a uh, bar but also here it says a uh, NAND they are um, let's say ref referring to specific waypoints which it will use uh, as part of this route so let's assume that we are happy with this so we're gonna press enter uh, gonna move one down and then you've got the transition and the transition is in some cases or in most cases used when doing the approach you will see that the HC instructs you, hey, you need to uh, use this star route and then you need to use this specific uh, transition. Uh, so let me see if we can find some transitions. I don't think it's possible or you are uh, used in um, for, for departures, but with, with arrivals it's uh, applicable. So let's, let's leave it for now. And then we've got the last one where you can change runway. Well, runway 27 is okay. Um, what you need to do it as last one is you need to make sure that you select the load button and what you see is now we did that it added several waypoints so we're flying now from uh, Liverpool to 15 DME then to uh, user which is the user waypoint in most cases then to uh, Delta 0, 081 uh, Juliet Followed by Delta 01081 Papa, and then as last one, uh, Bravo Alpha Romeo Tango November. And here you can see the uh, say referral to the uh, route we selected, and that's what I meant, right? So the route which you select is in most cases the last waypoint, uh, which is part of the departure route, and you can see that also says okay hey you need to make sure that you're flying these altitudes at these specific weight points so that also means that we need to change this altitude of course if you want to use the uh, vnav option so let me show you how this looks on the, this chart right so to do that you can use this uh, range button um, and as this range button you can uh, I would say use it multiple by multiple ways you can either uh i'll say hover over it and then use your mouse cursor or you can really press it like like this it's it's really what you want um if you want to scroll a little bit more to the right or left then you need to press it then you will see your cursor starting to blink and then you can use the button here to uh, move further to the right 
or to the left or to the top or to, off, or to the bottom. Once you're ready with that, you can uh, click the button again. That will make sure that it's centered on the airplane and everything is fine. So that's for the departure route. The same thing you can do for the approach. So if we would select approach, you can see that it already loads up a press trick. Uh, and this is normally what you don't configure, I would say, prior to departing because the approach care is assigned to you by ATC, right? So the ATC says, hey, you need to, uh, you're, you're perm permitted to use ILS 1-2, uh, uh, which stands for runway 12. And then you need to transition at uh, Papa India Kilo. And then you can see the sequence here. And the sequence here is simply the uh, waypoints which are included. So let's assume that ILS 12 is the one we don't need to use well in that case you can still change it by clicking on the enter key and then uh, scrolling down to the list so you can see ILS, air navs and the NDPs so let's assume that we need to use uh, ILS uh, 30 we're gonna press enter and then press the button again you can go to either activate or you can go to transition and then press enter. Because here you can see that for the approach, there are multiple transitions available. So PIK, PIK is one of them, uh, summon is the other one, and TRN is the other one. This also depends on what ATC assigns to you. So for example, if we want to use uh, TRN, we're scrolling down, we're pressing enter, and then it will make the changes. Uh, so here you can see that TRN is, uh, I would say, a little bit too far. So I'm not going to select TRN because I don't think that's uh, what we want to do. So we're going to press enter again and select uh, PIK, which is, makes a little bit more sense. A little bit, a little bit closer. Still, maybe not, I would say, the route which we want to use. Uh, and once you're happy with that, you can load the data into it. So we're going to press and then um, once we're there, come on, we can press load or activate. What's the difference? Load, it simply adds to the flight plan. Activate, it also, it loads and activates the flight plan or this part of the flight plan. So let's assume that you're flying, you're being instructed to use the ILS approach with the transition PIK. Then you, and you didn't configure anything in your flight plan, you can simply load it here and then say, okay, hey, activate. From then on, it will bypass the normal flight plan and will skip directly to uh, this part. But for now, we're gonna use the uh, load option, uh, which will add another bunch of uh, items to our list normally. So let's have a look at our list. So we're gonna use this uh, this one. Come on, come on. This is the flight, and here you can see. Okay, hey, this is the approach with all the information here. So once you're happy with that, well, you're clear to go, right? You need to ask ATC for permission for the flight uh, because. Based on this, you're probably going to do an IFR flight, although you can still do a VFR. But since you want to say, since you want to use certain routes, it's better to do an IFR because then you can also ask permission and then you get the clearance and instructions. Um, so that's that's all fine. Um, here ends this tutorial because I'm not going to do the uh, do the flight. Uh, I hope you liked it. If you liked it, then consider to use the like button. If you've got questions or comments, then please put them below the video. And if you'd like to stay up to date about new videos I'm posting, then please consider to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.